Okay, now let's build a train that actually works. First of all, what we need is a rail system that uh, is closed so that the train won't be uh, derailed afterwards after we have built it because it's very difficult to get it on track once you um, well, get it off track. So just begin by making a uh, rail uh, uh, the way around so the train will be able to go in circles and also make sure that um, well, uh, these sections when the train has to turn won't be too short because then the train can break basically and we also don't want this to happen right so what we need first is a cortex assembler and let's put them like three spaces apart and then we need a radial, I mean we don't need a radial chassis, but it's a very useful tool because as you will see, um, you can, you have to glue everything together, right? So that the train moves together and these blocks are useful because when you glue them, they get sticky on all the sides. So that makes the process of building a bit more uh, less time consuming at least then what we need is a deployer um, good and a chest uh, which we have to fill with coal for the engine so great and yeah once we add the mine cards that's basically it, like uh, we just have to add some levers of course and once the thing is working this is basically the most basic uh, that's, that's the structure that we will gonna build around for our um, train so next thing we wanna have a uh, wagon right and for that that it's gonna be a bit longer so let's take like i don't know like six spaces in between and then once you're gonna have this and okay so so you see these two are not touching so what you're gonna need here is a um coupling item so that it will go together so now all the structures will move together so let's activate everything okay so something happened yes and that's it it is moving into the wrong direction for some reason uh, but yeah that's basically what we're gonna use how the rain is externalizing my struggle I don't know why this train is not moving why is it not moving that maybe the only trains that can be connected are the ones that are connected to one structure so we do it like that yes and again it's in the wrong direction but okay yes it works <laughs> It works. Now we know how to stop the train. Very nice. Very nice. You have to deactivate all of them. First the two that are connecting the uh, wagon that will first hit the assemblers and then the second one. But so this is roughly what you could do as you see I don't really um, thrive in like the art of making things look beautiful but uh, it is what it is so this is basically like you have if you're gonna have a platform it should be like this so that people the train can stop and people can like go on and see it here but, mm, let's just pair that up and yeah let's uh, let's hope this works right um, oh my god I mean, <laughs> again, again. 
again it moves into the wrong direction. to stop it here we have to stop it the last card first so uh, let's hope that works so first I mean first the card that first uh, enters the assembly line oh yeah nice nice perfect and now we let them that train come might stop because of this one. Ah, I knew it, I knew it, it stopped. It changes direction when something is in its way. But that shouldn't be a problem at all. Now we activate, no, deactivate this so that the train will be stopped. And then once again, we're gonna turn it into the right direction this time. So first, we begin at the back oh my god I didn't I forgot to put the cards in okay okay mm -hmm. okay and now we start at the back okay and that should be it the card will be the train will be moving oh my god it is moving into the right direction but something happened what oh shit oh shit okay Oh, nice. Oh, no, not nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, 